Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin charts as Bitcoin could possibly be about ready to fall off a cliff if the Bitcoin price breaks down and closes down below $29,000 once again. So, with that all being said, let's get right into the charts. And we will start over here on the daily candles for Bitcoin USDT on the Binance Exchange. Now, in last week's video on Monday, we saw Bitcoin sell off and actually break down below a major support level we were watching, which was 29.5. And in fact, when Bitcoin's price broke down two weeks ago out of this ascending triangle, we had a price target for the overall sell off to come down to around 28,000. And after consolidating and getting rejected from this lower trend line, last week Bitcoin did eventually sell off. And now Bitcoin's price is once again consolidating sideways and appears to be getting rejected at this prior support level of 29.5, which is at the bottom of all these wicks here. And now the top of the wicks on these candles is basically getting rejected around that 29.5 level. And so with that all being said, you certainly want to proceed with caution as there is a possibility of Bitcoin rolling over and essentially falling off that that cliff and perhaps hitting that 28,000 target that we had back here from the breakdown out of this ascending triangle. Now I don't put a whole lot of weight into triangle patterns. What I would actually prefer to look at would be Fibonacci levels as key levels of support or resistance. So if we drop in the recon auto fib retracement levels, we can see the 786 level comes in at 29673, which was right around that 295 level. I had been keeping a close eye on and I had mentioned numerous times if Bitcoin's price broke down below the 786 and more importantly 295, that would be a key sign of the bears taking control of the battlefield and more than likely pushing this price down with their first target being more than likely the 618 level at around 28.6. And you can see the wick on this candle came in pretty close to that 618 before we get a little bit of a bounce. Now, this to me kind of looks like a dead cap bounce. And if it is a dead cap bounce, then Bitcoin's price could just be rolling over and about to fall off that cliff. And if the bears can crush the price down below the 618, more than likely the 28.5 level would be the target I would look for the price to break down below. If Bitcoin's price does break down below 28.5, then more than likely we are headed down to the 50% level, which is 27.9, or that 28,000 price target that was set up after Bitcoin's price broke down out of this ascending triangle. Now, a breakdown below this 50% level, and Bitcoin could be selling off even lower to perhaps the 382 level, which would put it at around 27,168, call it 27,000. That more than likely would be a pretty strong level of psychological support, as those round numbers often do play a role as psychological support or resistance. Now, with that being said, on the flip side, right now, 29.5 or around the 786 level is going to be a psychological level of resistance. The bears keep stepping up and pushing down Bitcoin's price once the price reaches around 29.5. All these wicks on the top of these candles and the majority of these candles seem to have bigger wicks than actual bodies and in this case they're mostly bearish wicks and so again that could indicate bearish price action going forward if this trend continues. But if the bulls can actually get the price above 29.5 or perhaps more importantly, the 786 level. Actually, for me, really, I would be looking at 30,000 as the target of a close for the bulls to have gained back control of this battlefield, a close above 30,000. And then Bitcoin's price could perhaps push higher. Obviously, the first level of resistance would be that 31,000 level. After 31,000, then there's going to be a whole lot of resistance up here around 31,500. 
like. It has acted as a very strong level of resistance in the past. If you look back and check our six, you can see a whole lot of resistance coming in at that level, but a break above 31.5 and Bitcoin could have some open air up to around 32.6, which would be the 1272 level. But as of now, the bears appear to have control of this battlefield and are putting extreme sell pressure on Bitcoin's price. In fact, if we drop in the EMA ribbon over here on the daily candles, you can see Bitcoin's price has sold off down below the ribbon and is right now essentially consolidating at the bottom of the ribbon and the ribbon is starting to turn over and go down. If we start to see these greens and blues end up on the bottom of the ribbon, that will be very bad news for the Bitcoin bulls. As you can see back here, when the ribbon flips and puts the greens and blues on the bottom, you get a continued bearish sell-off with those reds and yellows towards the top. Now, obviously, if the bulls can push Bitcoin's price back above the top of the ribbon, Bitcoin's price could pump like it did back here when it broke out above the ribbon. And then the bulls could set their target for Bitcoin's price back up here, at least for the first target around 31.5. Now, if all of that wasn't bearish enough, we could draw in what looks like a bear pennant that is setting up over here on the current Bitcoin price over the last week, starting with Monday sell-off. That would be your flagpole or your pennant stick. And then we draw in our trend lines would look something like this and that would be your pennant and if this is the case then bitcoin's price could be getting real close to either breaking out or breaking down but as i mentioned i'm not real big on these flag or pennant or triangle patterns so we'll just have to wait and see if in fact bitcoin falls off the cliff or if the bulls step up and try to push bitcoin's price back up and so with that being said, if anything major happens over here on the Bitcoin charts, I will do an update video. So now would be a good time to shoot the subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.